Hello again. Welcome to another edition of Real Guy and also at Real Island 140. Go for yep. the joint reviews again. Joint reviews again. So you'll be able to check it out on youtube.com forward slash Real Island 140 and Real Ale Guide. Whatever channel you so wish. <laughs> Whichever of us you prefer. Yeah, that's it. Me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going with something again from my good friends at Adnams. Yes. And it's the American style IPA. Now it's a bit of a beast this. It comes mm. in at 6.8 percent. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to take a steady on this one. Mostly chilled. Yeah. You know the uh, the frosting on the glass. Didn't see my finger there. Let's pick that. And I like. I got a big. Idea with Adams. I, I, I really do like this style. I really there's something about Adams that they don't put any of their beer in clear glass. Um, the gl the glass where they use is it's a real privilege to pour a beer into. No, it's lovely. The beer styles are always focusing on. Oh, they got some old. I bet the broadsides. I bet that's a really old. That's, recipe. A, that's a proper beer, that is. Yeah. Fantastic, the broadside. Mm. They got a, a few standard beers, and then they'll lean to. They're always open-minded to lean towards something from from America or whatever it is in the world that's, that's popular at the time. They're always yeah. very flexible, even for a big brewery. Yeah, and the, we've had a couple of the polypins before with the, uh, oh. the, uh, the, the green... Green, green bullets. The green bullets. That was, that and was the New Zealand pale ale. Yeah, both very interesting beers. If, very if you find those kicking around the place, uh, check them out. Yeah. But this beer here looks like they're probably in the process of putting this on the shelf. Mm. I reckon this is going to end up on the shelf in the supermarket if it already hasn't. Um, so we live in Wales, it's a bit, it's a bit dry for, for good beer, so yeah. we apologise if it already has landed on, on the supermarket shelves. But Fergus, is, who's the head the brewer, brewer, yeah, brewer yeah. Adams, has said that he loves America's take on the IPA. Mm. And this is, the th this is the key thing, America has gone Bonkers and has brought out some amazing, Crap massive beers. IPAs with enormous IBUs. Yeah. Um, do you want to say what an IBU is? Because uh, international bittering units. I think it goes from zero to a hundred. Yeah. And you know, <coughs> a decent IB, IBU value for a beer from America is somewhere between sixteen and eighty. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and and that's what you want to be looking at. Yeah. Spot on. And let's let's see where they go with this. So let's look at the. Nice head on that. Yeah, let's look at the aroma. Uh, the, the, the aroma. Let's look at the head. <laughs> we can't look at the aroma. That'd be rubbish. <laughs> let's look at the, the, the colour of the beer and the head. Nice small bubbles rising from the side of the glass. Very slow, lazy bubbles. Mmm, yeah. Um, yeah, that's not necessarily, that's a good thing in, in many cases. And not big bubbles, you know, you don't want your big bubbles. That just that just suggests lazy, false carbonation. Oh, no, no, the, the smaller the bubble, the, the better the beer, I was told by head brewers. Mm. Um, the colour on this is it's, it's more than golden. Yeah. It's more, it's like, it's, it's, it's almost leaning towards a deep... It's deep amber. Yeah. Um, but not quite red, mm. I, I would suggest. Let's get the nose. Cheers. It's not hordes on the nose, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I've got quite a big nose. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of fresh fresh hops in here. Yeah. No, new, no. new world. No, and, and the beautiful thing is there's no skunkiness or anything no, like that. No, no not, not, with a, not with a dark glass, no. Adams do a good job of looking after their beers when they, they put them out for, for sale. Yeah, absolutely. It smells the wine. Mm. It's, it smells all, almost um, like a hoppy syrup. It's, it's got that. It's yeah. got that really hoppy. You can smell the hop. Nice fruit. You know, I'm not picking up much fruit off the nose, but um, 
And most sense this month probably there's a little there. there. There's a little there. It's quite big at six point is it six point eight? Six point eight, yeah. Six point eight. I think it's the least. biggest beer I've done from Adam. Six point eight is the biggest beer. Yeah, I think the green bullet was um, around the five out by five and a half. Yeah. So this is yeah. It, yeah, this is one bigger of the, than broadside. I think yeah. broadside's five, six, well, six point two. I think. Uh, so this uh, broadside's an amazing beer. Mm. I mean, they, you would never ever guess that that was a six point two. Yeah. And and I'm hoping that we'll find out the same from this. Yeah. Let's have a look. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's that's got toffee. Mm. Oh yeah, fudgy toffee. Fudgy, yeah, fudgy, yeah, mm. fudgy toffee. Malty kind of. Malty. Oh, and then the hops. Can you get them hops yeah, now? Yeah. They're just pulling through in that bitterness. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit of that going on. Um, <laughs> wow. That's. Wow. That's that's nice. I'm not picking any of that above the head, so they've not. I'm guessing they've not late hopped this, because otherwise we'd have um, or dry hopped it, because we'd have picked that up off the aroma. Yeah, yeah. This is this has been hopped just all the way through. Wow, there's so much going on. I the well, I I have admittedly drunk a couple of bottles of this before over the last few days, and I found the the mouth feel to be thicker, it's thicker than than than. It reminds me a little bit of their ghost ship, but it's got a bigger, of a, more of a body to the beer. Yeah. Ghost ship is a cracking beer. Really I mean, nice. I would recommend it to anyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you swirl this around in your mouth, the last the last thing you'll get is that, once you've wished out the carbonation, you get that kind of slightly thick kind of body to it. <clears throat> which, which is, you know, quite pleasant. It's, it's not an unpleasant sensation, is it? No, no. It's nice, but you, at the same time, it drinks like something which is around 5%. Yeah, yeah, and this, this is the same thing with Broadside, is that it, it, it's not disguising it, it's, mm. it's brewed so well that you're not picking up an alcohol burn, um, which you can do with some oh. more, more lazily crafted, or... Unless, unless there's any Even mass that, produced, some yeah. of the mass produced lagers you try, anything over 5%, you're starting to pug me. You're starting to, you're starting to get the yeah. alcohol in the nose. Yeah, and you don't want the alcohol in the nose. No. If no. you like the alcohol in the nose, then that's fine, it's up to you. you know, we could equivalent with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you like your special brew, then good for you. Carry on. You're probably, not, you're probably not watching this channel, or I'm doing these <laughs> channels. <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> Um, suckers. Um, but um, mm. Mm. yeah, well, it's good. Let's Flip smack it. in flavour on that. It's good. It's good malty. Um, I'm not, I'm getting mango. You're getting some a little bit of mango in Don't there. A tropical fruit in that. Yeah. Um, what I like to do is is to drink the beer. And I'll mention the flavour once. So I picked that flavour up, then I'm looking to pick up another flavour and another flavour. So we picked up caramel, mm. uh, we picked up um, yeah, sweet, sticky, sweet malts, you know, the, the sticky caramel, fudgy. The fudgy, yeah, the, the sticky fudgy we picked up. It's about finding all of the flavours. There's, there's, there's a really, right at the end, I think it's the malt. It's it's just nice. It's just it's it's, mm. it's one of them. It's it's very it's one of them ones where where you probably would need three bottles to to nudge down to write down yeah. all the different flavors that are yeah. going on. This is a proper kind of tasting beer, mm. but then you want your pen and paper. Um, you might not all be as obsessive as us, but um, it's difficult to to knock this one out in terms of. Um, mm. Giving you everything in, in in ten minutes. It's quite piney. It's a bit of that, and, yeah. and that's, that's a common theme with American IPAs. And that, and this is what he said. He's been inspired by the American IPAs. Uh, it says it on the bottle, but it's not it's not as piney as some of the you know the I, torpedo. I, I, I put a torpedo on my YouTube channel last night. Yeah, you know, 
Um, that that that's a big piney taste, more so when it's warmer than it is cold. But uh, and also I think with the southern tier as well, they they turn out quite piney sometimes. Yeah, this has got a hint of that, but it's not in the kind of full on pine sugar way that I think I've picked up before with them. I think in in British terms, I'm saying British because I'm I'm Welsh and Chris is English. Um, it's it's very quaffable. Mm. If you understand that word, you, you'll understand this beer. Yeah, it's a very quaffable beer where you, where you just you're admiring what you're drinking. You're sitting back and yeah. you you can pick out the flavours, or you don't have to pick out the flavours and just sit and it's just pleasant. Yeah, isn't it? it's just a pleasant beer. And it's six point eight. Christ, yeah, uh, yeah oh, absolutely. You wouldn't know it. You no, you really wouldn't know it. And you, if you didn't know that this was six point eight, and it's the same with the broadside. The same trick they put yeah. out. You could quite happily go into a pub and have three pints of broadside mm -hmm. and, and find that all of a sudden you dribble in and <laughs> sing all the lyrics to I don't know. Kylie Minogue. Yeah, <laughs> I was going for Abba. Kylie Minogue. Yeah, it's the same business. <laughs> no, yeah, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, pop chart type yeah, of. Next thing you know, you do that whole pub thing <laughs> like that, and, and, and it all goes a bit. Pear shaped, yeah. and somebody's got a video of you up on YouTube doing it the next day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, we, well, Chris had a bit of an incident today. Yeah, with, with ladies, well, no, ladies. We're ladies, not going to talk about that. No, we, no, no, no. We won't talk about that. Like, <laughs> um, back to the beer. Yeah. Time for the rating, Chris, for your for your viewers. Mm. Well, now I've got some of it in my moustache. <laughs> Um, yeah, now piney, piney hit isn't that. It's a, a British take on an IPA, an English take on an IPA, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Um, because the Scots want independence now, so if they can, they can go do what they want. Off you go, Brewdog. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so it's good. I, I like it when British brewers pay attention and sit up and look at this stuff. Um, Thornbridge is a classic good example. Mm. They've looked at that market, they've tried to do it, take their own take on it. Yeah. Uh, Adnum's very traditional British kind of beer, but they've given it a whirl and they've tried this. Um, <coughs> I've, I've had worse and I've had better examples of this style of beer. I'm going to go with ooh, marginally under an 8, 7.75. On this, yeah, it's not, that's a very good rating for the beer. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just wash this around in, in the two cameras we got going here at the same time, and I'm gonna get a big deep nose in this and make a decision. Because when you do that, when you really, really mince this about, when you give it a good rigorous pour, mm. uh, shake up. You get a lot of the. You do get a lot of it of the beer. I've really enjoyed the beer. I think I might just edge it just a little. I might give it an eight out of ten. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. That works out. Well. Yeah, that's seven point nine two. That's seven point nine two out of the two of us. It's, it just means it's an all round good tasting beer, which yeah. mm, session wise, Ooh. six point eight percent. That's that's the thing. If if somebody passes you it, just be wary. Yes. Unless you're yeah. a real beer monster, yeah, more than four of these, and you're on your ass. You're out. You're out. Get you, yes, you game yeah. over after that point. Yeah. So thank you for watching the Real Ale Guide, and thank you for watching at Real Ale One Forty. Cheers. Cheers.